Hey guys, Scooter Street here. I've got a good um, sort of demonstrational video today um, to demonstrate and show you how your diff gear and your scooter works. So when we talk about scooter transmissions, there's essentially two transmissions that work completely separately. So you have your CBT, which is a continually varying transmission. This is made up of your variator, your belt, and your torque driver. Then uh, past that, in behind your torque driver, uh, in the back of the transmission, you have this little plate here. Uh, on some scooters, it's on the outside of the transmission, on, on the back, bolted. Uh, on this scooter, this is from a TGB. This is a similar setup to a Piaggio as well, where you have a plate on the inside of the transmission casing. In behind there is this diff gear. So um, this shaft here is the shaft that your torque driver goes onto, and then this here is your drive shaft the wheel is bolting onto with the spline there matched by the wheel. So you see there's a little series of gears inside here. Um, now the, the purpose of these gears is to reduce the gearing so that the engine can rev at a significantly higher speed than the wheel is turning. So uh, it works very similarly to um, the diff in a car, um, except diff in a car is doing a couple of different things. This is essentially just reducing the gearing so that the engine can rev up at uh, an RPM that a two-stroke engine is happy revving, say seven, eight, 9,000 RPM. Uh, and get uh, the optimum amount of uh, rotation on the wheel for the sort of speeds you're going to be doing on the road. So when we talk about doing gear up kits in a scooter in terms of modifying, these are the gears that you're changing. You're fiddling with these ratios here. So just to demonstrate how this works, I've got a little drill connected up here. Um, crude little setup, but you'll be able to see it. Sometimes it's easier to visualize things. So you'll see, and I'll turn this in a second, the drill, this shaft here, is turning quite a number of times to every single rotation of the drive shaft. With most scooters, it's usually somewhere between about 9 and 13 rotations of this to one rotation of this. So I'll just demonstrate that for you. Hopefully this works. So you'll see there, these first couple of gears are turning quite rapidly, and then it's slowing down as it gets to the drive shaft. Now, you'll see this is quite dirty in here. This is gear oil. This is uh, quite thick, uh, quite thick stuff. It's usually 80 or 90 weight. This is pretty heavy stuff. And the reason for that being, uh, these gears are turning quite rapidly. So this is where gear oil comes in. This is why we say it's really important to regularly change your gear oil. If we don't regularly change your gear oil, these gears uh, get really quite hot really quickly. So um, uh, we actually have an example here of, uh, of one that came into the shop yesterday. So this is off a of TGB as well. You'll be able to see these gears here. This gear here is uh, that, um, I think they call it the idler shaft, the, the idler gear, because it sits between the two main gears. And uh, this is the actual shaft that the torque driver bolts onto. And you see this scooter here uh, ran out of gear oil and was running with no gear oil. And you'll see that uh, it's completely stripped the living daylights out of it. So that's a, that's a very, very dead gearbox, very crunchy. This is why it's really important that you change your gear oil. Your gear oil, your gear oil is doing a lot of work. There's not a lot in there, um, and it's uh, the only thing preventing this from happening. Much like the engine oil on a four-stroke, it's very important that you regularly change it. Now these gears wear as well, as they're, um, they're metal on metal. So particularly when the scooters are uh, brand new before your first service, this is why we usually do a first service at say 500 or 1000 k's, because these gears are bedding in which means you're going to have tiny, tiny little bits of metal uh, that are, as these are bedding in, rubbing against each other and, and coming loose into the gear oil. And we'll often see this uh, when we change the gear oil at a first service. As the gear oil comes out, you'll see it almost looks like a metallic flake, like there's a slight uh, metallic paint in the, almost, in the, um, in the gear oil. And this is all these tiny little, little flecks of, um, of metal that have come off as the gears have been, have been bedding in. Over time, as gears start to excessively wear as well, on a scooter with a lot of kilometers on it, if particularly if, uh, if it hasn't been particularly well looked after. They get excessive movement between the gears as they wear excessively, and this is causes, uh, causes even more. So on a scooter with some, with some kilometers on it, it's even more important that you are regularly changing the gear oil. Otherwise, um, you're going to lead to, uh, to non-existent gears like this. So often with a gear up kit, getting back to gear up kits, uh, there's a few different ways of doing it. You'll see Melossi list a few different products. Um, they list secondary gears, idle gears, and primary gears. Uh, 
depending on the scooter, different models they make. Um, some some scooters, particularly Piaggio engines, which are a favourite of Molossi, they make all the gears. Other brands, um, uh, some with it, with other scooters, you just change the one gear. You're really looking to just modify this ratio. Normally, no more than about ten percent. Um, if you have a really high end scooter, you can sort of start fiddling with it a bit further than that. But you're really looking with most scooters to modify it, sort of between the maybe five and fifteen percent, which is um, in the range of the kits that we sell in that five to fifteen percent sort of range. Um, and when you do this, often you'll lighten the roller slightly to compensate just slightly for the acceleration loss. Um, but essentially, uh, putting a gear up kit into this is like in your car, changing from third gear to fourth gear. Um, just in a car, you don't have a continually varying transmission that can then compensate for that, whereas in a scooter you do. So hopefully that uh, makes it a little bit more simple uh, and breaks it down uh, in a way that's a bit more um, easier to understand. So. Takeaway points, change your gear oil, guys. Really, really important.